I'm Elvis Kiri. I'm from Zambia, from one of the urban towns in Zambia, on the Copper Belt particularly. And uh, I've got a presentation, and the presentation, the title is, I'm looking at the study that looked at the three-delay model as a framework to assess the burden of maternal deaths in the urban district of Kitwe, and this is Zambia. Uh, in the background, in the background, I'm saying Zambia belongs to one of the countries with the, one of the highest mortality rates, and uh, about uh, 308 women per 100,000 live births are lost per year. And one of the reasons that have been quoted in the previous studies that we have done, it has been uh, that uh, these deaths have been a result of people not uh, coming to the facility early enough or not delaying to seek uh, health care. And at the same time also, probably by the time that they've made decision to seek the care, they delay to reach. So I looked at the, the three deaths and trying to see what was really impacting in an urban setup like Kitwe, which was not like in, an, in, the, in a rural area where we would say because of distance and other things. Because the trend now has been that we, we have started seeing as a nation more maternal deaths occurring at our health facilities, the clinics and the hospitals. And that has been a bit of a worry. But uh, unfortunately, when, because there have been a lot of studies that have been done, to only the, the other delay, like a first and the second delay. The first delay, which talks about delay to see care. The second delay talks about delay to reach the care. Now, the third delay, which talks about patients are in the facility or they are in the hospital, but they are not getting appropriate care. Unfortunately, this kind of delay has not received so much study in Zambia, and I thought it would be important for us to look into it and try to bring out some of the issues that might help us in the programming and also in the um, uh, uh, design of interventions that might actually just try to lower down the maternal mortality rate we, are, we have in the country. Now, the, <clears throat> we looked at was, I looked at was what is the extent of the third delay has contributed to the burden of maternal death in the country, particularly in Kitwe. This is from the background that we, there is a lot of literature that has been written about the first delay and much of the, 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 the reasons that have been there has been because people cannot visit um, the facilities early or if they have decided they are not able to do the facilities quite uh, in, in good time. But the third delay, I needed, we need to find out what could be the contributing factors if at all they are there. That response, are you, am I being heard? Hello? Hello? Am I being heard? Hello? Hello? Hello, please. Am I being heard there? Can't you get any response? Am I still being heard? Can't you get the response? All right, fine. In case, just in case, maybe I'm being heard. I'll continue. I was talking about the methodology, which I said is it actually was a, a, a retrospective uh, study. And uh, when in terms of data collection, we had uh, used the WHO two uh, beyond the numbers uh, at the method of review maternal deaths and complication to make pregnant suffer. And also we use also the country's Ministry of Health documents, so also called the Beyond the Month, and also the maternal death review forms. And the data was analyzed using just simple frequency distributions using appropriate class divisions. And where we had, the, in instances where we had the two variables being involved, then um, yeah, we, we had used the, 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 the simple frequency distributions using appropriate class divisions when more than two variables were being involved. And although this was 
the descriptive study for illustrative purposes only comparisons were being made between the variables. Now, in terms of the results, the, actually the, the, the study reviewed that, that majority of the deceased mothers or the deceased clients um, more came from the low density areas within the age range of 25 to 49, 20, 25 to 29 years. And actually on this finding, I think there is more to do. May probably further studies need to be done to try to find out whether at all the social status could be one of the contributing factors that could be uh, uh, contributing to, to this. Maybe probably in the manner in which we would want to find out out in the further studies, if I thought there is a difference in which people are handled, those ones who are coming from maybe affluent societies and those ones who are coming from less affluent societies. Uh, the study also reviewed that 44% were referred from well centers, and these centers were within the vicinity of the referring clinics, meaning that the facilities that were referring to the that were referring clients were not very far they are within uh, you know short distances from the from the facilities that are able to to offer comprehensive obstetrical care and when we looked at uh, transport we found that many of them were being actually evacuated using the government transport or the ambulance system few of them um, were using their own transport and about 28 percent came from the neighboring districts with only about 6% that you could, could have just walked in into the facilities without being referred. When we looked at the manner in which they are being referred, we found that the response was quite poor. The disease, the, in most cases, were being evacuated maybe after three hours, after the decisions have been, done, have been made by the clinics to refer them to the comprehensive care unit. And... Uh, they would be about 77% of the mothers who met their fate at these hospitals were actually reaching the facilities in good condition, in stable and uh, fully conscious state. And uh, when we further analyzed, we found that the study views that the 70s, about, about a good number of these clients, about 44%, were being uh, lost their lives from things that uh, are well documented and are well known that they can be avoided and can be treated. Uh, hemorrhage was one of the um, key things that was discovered, killing almost about 44% of the, of the mothers, which was seconded by hypertensive disorders. Also, one of the significant findings we found was that some of them lost their lives from uh, treatable things like uh, sepsis that follows after abortions. In terms of average of stay after being referred to the facilities, we realized that uh, these clients were able to stay long enough in the facilities. At least the average length of stay was about eight hours, which we thought maybe was a good time enough that uh, if we had comprehensive obstetric care the clients were spending quite enough, enough time for them to have been attended to and probably could have averted the, the, the outcome. And in terms of attendance, it was also interesting to note that most of these attendants or most of the, 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 the mothers that had died, that died in the hands of skilled attendants, the nurses and the doctors. And in conclusion, we concluded that uh, uh, when we analyze the three delay model, that uh, really it, it provides a very good uh, framework to explore and identify different barriers women face in assessing quality and the timely and effective maternal service. And uh, we, 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 we noted that using this framework, this is as it would that uh, the burden of the days that we are now witnessing in our district or in our, in our country has now moved from the from those being said to be due to first delay and second delay to those that can significantly say that they are due to the third delay.
which brings in a very important element because we know that at facility level, the third layer is something that we can easily look into and something that we can easily uh, try to formulate uh, interventions to, to carry it. And uh, also, we would also note that uh, probably in the next, uh, the next studies would be to look at uh, a situation where we can be able to utilize and, and evaluate the facilities try to see if these facilities they are competent enough, they have got what it takes to competently handle obstetric care. And also, so even to evaluate, it would be interesting actually also to do a study to evaluate the competences of the care and caregivers, the skilled attendants, and try to see whether there are gaps that can be addressed in such a way that we, we have met the, um, the increase in maternal mortality. And in terms of references, those were the references that were used. And uh, finally, those are the contact details. I think I'll end here.